U.S. lawmakers are now threatening to confiscate guns from law-abiding citizens for the betterment of society. Funny, that's exactly what the socialist government in Nicaragua told my people before they executed thousands of them and seized everything that they owned. My name is Peter, and I watched Nicaragua get infected with socialism, and I almost died fighting it. My family and I own a 6,000 acre ranch and several businesses that were very successful. But then the Sandinistas came in. One of the first things they did was to go after our guns. It's what they always do. Totalitarian socialist regimes need to have total control over the population. And armed citizenry is exponentially harder to coerce. So when I hear politicians saying, Hell yes, we're coming after your guns. It makes me extremely concerned for the future of this great country. A country that accepted me and gave me the opportunity to prosper after socialists ripped apart my homeland. To implement socialism, they had one goal. Seized everything and attack everyone who refused. Properties were being confiscated left and right and they stripped everyone of their guns so that they had no way to fight back. My family refused to cooperate. We armed ourselves, we hired armed guards to protect our businesses, and we were always watching our backs. If it wasn't for my guns, they would have taken control of my house, and maybe they would have even murdered me and my family. This is what some Americans don't understand. I had to arm my 15-year-old son to help me protect our home and property. Can you even imagine that as an American? Pretty soon you wouldn't have to imagine anything if the socialists have their way. It will become your reality. One day it got so bad that a Sandinista tried to ram a car into one of our businesses and our armed guard shot and killed him. The conditions of my country under the prospect of socialism was getting so bad that I had to flee for me and my family's lives. I became an American citizen in 1987. I am proud to be an American. I love this country. And I never thought I would have to worry about my kids living under socialism. In fact, I left Nicaragua for this very reason. But now I wonder where my kids will escape to. Dietrich Bonhoeffer once said, Silence in the face of evil is evil itself. I believe we all as Americans have that decision to make right now. Do not let America become a socialist nation.